Shalom, shalom, and greetings to the daughters of Tazion. Welcome to Teshua Community. I'm Ima Raphael, and we're coming to you this month of August with a special message to only the daughters of Tazion, the present and special help of Almighty Yahweh. Hallelujah. Again, greetings and welcome. And we're really going to be a little bit more informative according to the Torah. Not what I think or what someone else may think, but all these scriptures are coming from the Torah. Hallelujah. And as I was thinking about this message, Reag Dawi came to me and he asked me if I would teach this. But can I tell you, by my obedience to the man of Yah, I have been blessed over these many, many years because of him, seeing his lifestyle and us living in this community, learning and keeping the commandments of Almighty Yahweh has truly blessed my heart. Hallelujah. So let me start off by, I want to emphasize on this teaching, I will lay out for the daughters of Tazayan what represents the person of a special daughter of Tazayan. How do we understand the depths of a special helper? She represents the present help of Yahweh by the definition of the words used in Torah. For her is the same as it is used to demonstrate the special help of Almighty Yah. Why did Yahweh design her that way? Hallelujah. And we will examine the Torah on this special kind of daughter and much more. Hallelujah. As you all know, uh, in Titus chapter 2, verses 3 through 5, the aged woman must be an example. We must be a pattern of tough works. We can't make excuses. Yah has blessed us to come out of the world that we may learn how to obey this truth and how it will keep and guide you in this walk of this truth. Hallelujah. So let me just share one scripture first with you. And I want to start with 1 Kepha, Peter, chapter 3, verse 6, 8, 10, 11, and 12. And it reads, Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters you are, as long as you do well, and are not afraid with any amazement. Finally, be ye all of one mind. We must have the same mind as Yahshua HaMashiach. Having compassion, one of another, loving the sisterhood, being pitiful, being courageous. Hallelujah. For he that will love life and see tough days, let him refrain his tongue from evil, and his lips if they speak no guile. Let him eschew hate evil and do tough. Let him seek shalom and ensue it. Praise Yah. So we first must examine ourselves. There's nothing tough about me, nor is there anything tough about you. The only thing tough about us as being daughters of Tazayim is that we obey this truth. You must follow the lead. If Yah gives you a shepherd, daughter, is for you to follow and to obey. That's what a shepherd is for. Hallelujah. So as these many years, I have, my shepherd is my ish. <coughs> Excuse me. My shepherd is my ish. And over the years, I've seen his life, the pattern, his tough works for the people of Yah, his concern for the people of Yah. And can I tell you, it has helped me every step of the way. Hallelujah. Let me read another scripture coming from Tehillim 111. And I want to start with verse 1 through verse 10. It says, Praise you, Yahweh. I will praise Yah with my whole leg in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. The works of Yah are great, sought out of all them that have pleasure therein. We must take pleasure in obeying his truth. Hallelujah. We must know who the creator is 
And the only way we're going to know who he is, daughter, we must pick up this book. This is our daily lecture, my daily bread, that we must partake of every day. His work is honorable and splendorous, and his righteousness endureth forever. He has made his wonderful works to be remembered. Yahweh is kind and full of compassion. He has given meat unto them that fear him. He will even be mindful of his covenant. Hallelujah. He has shown his people the power of his works, that he may give them the heritage of the heathen. The works of his hand are verity and judgment. All his commandments are sure. They stand fast forever and ever and are done in truth and uprightness. He sent redemption unto his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. Kodash and reverence is his name. The fear of Yah as the beginning of wisdom. A tub understanding have all they that do his commandments and his praise endure forever. Hallelujah. To Yah. So as we obey this Torah truth, it will make you free, daughters. It will show you how to dress your mind, how to dress your outward appearance as being a daughter of Zion. You don't want to look like the world. You don't want to think like the world. In order to be that present help, you must have the same mind as Yahshua, HaMashiach. Hallelujah, Yahweh. So let's go on and read some more scriptures about this uh, helper of Almighty Yahweh. Yahweh has established by his assistance to show us of this special type of help that only he speaks of. And no other one but a special one he created for another special one. This special confidence in Yahweh is expressed by Dawid. Tehelium, Psalms 46 and 1. Yahweh is our refuge and our strength a very present help. So in time of trouble, when you truly, truly trust and walk in his truth, he will be your present help. To Helium, Psalms 46 and 2. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, Selah. There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of Yahweh, the Kodesh place, the tabernacle of the Most High. Yahweh is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. Yahweh shall help her early in the morning. Hallelujah. So daughters of Tezai, in order to be that special help, we must hear this truth and we must comply to it. We must let, we must reject everything about us and receive this truth that Yah is trying to give us in this hour. We're in a crucial hour at this time of our lives. Hallelujah. And if, we're, if our trust is not in Almighty Yah, who will it be in? Where are all the healing ministers now? Where are they? Everybody's afraid of COVID-19, but nobody knows that it is the hand of Almighty Yah. For Yah has created all things for himself, even the wicked for the day of evil. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Psalms 22 and 23. It says, you that fear Yah, praise him. All you the seed of Yaakov, honor him and fear him. All you the seed of Israel. So if you're truly an elect of Almighty Yahweh and you fear Him, then you will discipline yourself. It starts with disciplining the mind. Hallelujah. Being in this place, this community, this setting, Yah has truly blessed the few daughters that are here. We've learned to abandon our ways. We're learning to keep the commandments of Almighty Yahweh. And we love our neighbor as we love ourselves. We deliver our own babies. 
when one is sick, you don't have to worry about uh, your children being watched after because we watch after each other's children. We have all of our meals together. We have fun day together. We pray together. We seek Almighty Yahweh together. And no one lacks anything. Hallelujah. So you say, well, what if you're in a situation where you're on the job? You just start obeying the Torah. Keeping the Shabbat is one of them. That's what we started doing first. Just keeping the Shabbat. And by keeping the Shabbat, it seemed like everything else fell into order. That we had daughters that want jobs. I used to work a job. I worked ever since. I worked before I got married and after I got married I worked. My ish never wanted me to work, but I didn't want him to carry the whole load. Well, that's what Yah has created him for, to carry the load. And for me to be the keeper of home. You say, well, what is that? The keeper of home? She cooks. She cleans. She takes care of the children. She homeschools her children. No, I don't want my daughter in college. Can I tell you, that's where everything happens in college. Young women you lose their virginity in college. So no, the woman's place is in the home. She learns how to cook, to prepare meals. She learns how to handle the funds that are brought into the home. That's what the woman's place is. And there's nothing, if you went to school, you know how to teach your children. You don't have to have a master's degree to teach your children how to read and write. You don't, daughters. Hallelujah. Over these many years, I've seen how our children excel. And can I tell you, they weren't taught well, that women had, have, had a master's degree, but they were taught by caring mothers. And that's where it all begins. If you care, daughters, when you truly learn how to obey this Torah truth, everything your child will need in life, will be added. I've seen it over these many, many years. And you say, well, how long have you been walking this way? 43 years. I haven't looked back, not one day. For what? I was glad I had to come off the job. I really was. Well, what about your new dress? Well, I've learned to make my clothing. I buy my fabric and I make my clothing. I've taught many daughters how to sew. Hallelujah. My daughter's recording me now. She didn't know how to sew, mm -hmm. but I taught her. Can I tell you, it just takes a willing heart. Mm -hmm. There's nothing the daughters cannot do. You just have to have a willing heart. Mm -hmm. You can say, well, I can't do this, and I can't, well, then you can. But if you say you can do all things through Yahshua HaMashiach, then you can. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing that the daughters here, there's nothing that we can't do. When the feast days are upon us, we prepare, we prepare our meals ahead, we cook our meats, uh, we bake desserts, and we freeze them. And then when the people come, the food is delicious. Everything we prepare is delicious. We grow our own, uh, we raise our own cows, our own sheep. No, we don't butcher them, but we sure know how to prepare the meat. Our daughters here know how to cook. I have two young daughters now, they're my granddaughters. They prepare uh, Monday's breakfast, and they do uh, Monday and Tuesday's breakfasts. And they do an excellent job. The only thing I do is come in and kind of oversee it. That's it. We teach them how to be young women. Yes, they know how to read, write. They do math. They speak a little Espanol. Buenos dias, buenas noches, buenas tardes. Have an excellent day, hoy. They speak a little Spanish. So there's nothing the people of Yah cannot do. You just must have a willing mind, and then you can become the special help of Almighty Yah. Hallelujah. Let me read another scripture. And I want to come from, uh, let me just say, we must, we must walk as obedient children. You know, once we were out there in the world, we learned to be haughty, high-minded, disobedient. You come home, you're upset because everything didn't go right on the job. So you come home and your husband asks you to bring him a glass of water. You want to tell him, I work just like you work. But that's not your place. Your husband, your ish, is the head. We, we want to keep up with the Joneses. The, your next door neighbor got a new car, so you want a new car. Well, I got to change my car every two years. Well, I don't. I live a simple life. 
And when I need to go somewhere, if Rev doesn't take me, one of the brothers will take me. Hallelujah. And I've learned my life is simple, so I don't need that much. And if I can't order, most of the time I do, I just order online. Whatever I need, I can order it online. And there's just a few things I may pick up from Sam's or from Walmart. But I have learned to live a simple life. I'm not giving to the lust of the world. I'm not giving over to keeping up with the style. I have my own style. My clothes look alike. What I have on, all my clothes look alike. It's just the fabric is different. But every woman should know how to sew. So if you need to um, make clothing for your little boy or your little girl, you can do that. The daughters here make their children's clothes. Yes, daughters, we do go to the store and buy things. But when it comes that we can't, if it ever comes to a time when we can, our daughters know how to sew. My other daughter is present before me. I think, how old are you, Shikanya? She's 34 years old. She makes her little boys' clothes. She makes pants. She makes shirts. Hey, can I tell you, we don't even have to buy the face masks when we go. We make our own. And we're very creative with them, daughters. So when you want to be that special help, it comes with just obeying toward truth. This truth will make you free. Mm -hmm. If you make excuses, you'll never be free. Your mind is already in bondage because you don't pick up this daily lecture. But once you start obeying the shepherd, and you just go back over what he's read, and you find a scripture or a word that sticks out, and you go look up the definition to that word, and you find other scriptures to go with that, that will strengthen your daughters every step of the way. You trying to find out uh, how to get into space is not going to help your walk in Yahshua HaMashiach. Mm -hmm. My place is to obey my, my ish. That's my place. To love him. To wait on him. And I do. I love him very much. We've been young and now we're old. And can I tell you, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Are y'all seed out begging bread? I have lack of nothing today, daughters. Nothing. I'm happy I haven't buried not one child, but yet I have children, I have daughters that are hover me much. I have grandchildren that's in my house, like Grand Central Station. And the only thing I have to say is, Grandma, can I have this? I may say no the first time, but the second time. You know how grandmothers are. So I have grandchildren I can take great delight in. So in order to be that special help, you must learn to obey toward truth. Let me go to Hebrews chapter 13. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Praise y'all. Mm -hmm. He is tough. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I barack y'all for this place. And all he's done yes. for me in my yes. life. Yes. Hebrews chapter 13, verses 20 and 21. And it reads, Now Yahweh of Shalom, that brought again from the dead, our Yahshua HaMashiach, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the dawn of everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every tough world to do his will, working in you that which is well pleasing in his sight through Yahshua, to whom be honor forever and ever. Hallelujah. Well. So Yah wants to work his perfect will in us daughters. We must just abandon everything that's not right before him. It starts with your mind having the same mind as Yahshua, Hamashiach, Abandon your thoughts of what people might say. Who cares what people might say? Who created you? Did the people create you or did Almighty Yah create you? So you want to please the Creator. Even thinking back as a little girl, I always wanted to please my, my mother. Always. So yeah, every now and then I got a spanking. But I said the next time I won't do that. I won't go that way. Because I want her to be well pleased with me. But the same thing it is with Yahshua. I want him to be well pleased with me in my obedience, in my labor of my hands. <clears throat> yes, daughters, I cook here too. I cook. The other times I'm tired, 
But when it comes time for me to do what needs to be done, I press past this whole corrupt flesh. Because there's always a day of rest, the Shabbat. When we enter into the bay at the hear Yah's voice, I rest. Praise Yah. So there's a time for us to rest, but we must empty out everything that's not like Him in order to be that very special help that Yah's talking about. Hallelujah. Let us examine this special word Yahweh used to express his special help. The word Ezra. The word only relates to the special help of Yahweh as a supporter, an aid, to assist one. Special helper brings relief. So you know growing up you have parents and when you really, really need something, you know that that mother's going to be your special help. You look to mom for everything. I, re I know I did. Even when I talk with my little brother, he always talks about how special our mother was to us. And when we share those times together, both of us weep because she was very, very special to us. And can I tell you, out of all of that, growing up with our, we knew who our father was, but he wasn't a special help. Hallelujah. And I, he was a drunkard. But can I tell you something? She never told us to speak ill of her father. Never. She would always say, that's your father. Honor your father. And we did. As I got older, if he needed to go to the store, if he called me, I would say, well, I'll be there at a certain time. I would go get him, take him to the store. Oh, by the way, his girlfriend was, was him too. I would take care of him. Whatever his need was, if I could assist, I would assist. But he was a drunkard. He would beat my mother when we were little as we were growing up. I remember those things so vividly. But I told her, Yah, that because of my mother, the special help, I never spoke ill of her. Never. He died at the age of 70. I think he was 76. Before he died, two weeks before he died, he came to visit me. I still never spoke ill of my father. Hallelujah. But we being the daughters of Tezion, there's a place we need to be in, in this truth. And the root word Ezra is from the Hebrew word, and it means help, succor, one who helps. So we being the daughters of Tezion, we want to help each other and our lives, the way we live. That's a way of helping. I wouldn't want no daughter to think that if she had a need that I couldn't assist her. So by me obeying this truth has helped the daughters in this place. By me being willing to work with my hands has helped the daughters in this place. So we want to assist, we want to aid those that need it. We have had many people over these years, many, many people. Now some daughters may go back and say, well, I didn't help them, or the daughters here didn't help. You know why they say that? Because we weren't gossipers. And we didn't want to hang out and wreck the street like they were brought up to do. That's what, usually that's what women do. We run here and there with, in everybody's house, and your house is at home. You govern your house. You should be keepers of home. Your home should always be clean. You say, well, I'm tired when I get home from work. I understand that. That's why you should have to start being, obeying this Torah truth so that Yah will, step by step, gradually make you free. And when he makes you free, you will be free indeed. Well, what should a woman do? She should marry and bring forth children and bring her children up in this Torah life. That's what a woman should do. No other woman should be out um, under another man working. She shouldn't. That's, that's not a special help. You know, I know you want to argue with me about that. Well, you just go to the Torah. And the Torah will tell you what your place is as a woman. Hallelujah. As we continue to examine the Torah. It says, great love, the love for her husband, is equal to the love for Almighty God. Daughter, once you learn 
how to really reverence and to love your husband. It is equal to how you love Almighty Yahweh. A devotion that is unparalleled. No parable that is equal to the type of a hava and the honor for one that loves Almighty Yahweh. A love that is so pure and devoted that it is represented in the love that you have for Yahweh. We as being the elect ones of Almighty Yahweh. This is the kind of love we should have for our age, for Almighty Yah, for one the other. She is the beauty of the honor and strength. A love was developed with such great affection that can be no other one but Almighty Yah. The love that we have for Yah, the affections is equal to what a woman has for her husband, her ish. So as we examine our lives, and as we examine Torah, we must obey this truth in order to be that special help that Yah is talking about. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Our lives, the way we live, not one day a week, but every second of the day, we must stop and take an inventory and say, am I treating my each the way I ought to? Do I love him like I say I love Yah? You know, knowing the name Yah and the name Yahshua, we've got to love it. And love it means that you're gonna obey this truth by him making us free. Who the Son makes free is free indeed. Mishli, Proverbs 31 and 11. The heart of her husband does safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. So if your husband safely trusts in you, he can go out and labor. When he comes home, he'll have no worries. The house is clean. The, the, the dinner is prepared. The children are in order. When daddy comes in, they greet him because they're so glad to see him. And he can sit back to uh, what uh, the son is removing daddy's boots from a long hard day and he can say totally yeah in a place like this you see it every day you hear the children when their fathers come home they greet their fathers the Ishar gets on and she greets her ish it's a beautiful thing our family bond here is that we always greet each other in the morning as they leave and when they come home in the evening but to hear the children do it is such a beauty about it. It's a discipline that the people of Yah must have. We can't be like the world. We can't be women that raise our voice and our husbands. When they love us, they're only going to correct us because they love us. That's why they correct us. We must be that example and that special help that Yah is looking for in these last and evil days. The times are evil. The world is reeling and rocking. People don't even know which way to go. Parents are worried about how I'm going to teach my children, how I'm going to feed my children. If you just let this truth come into your heart, cleanse you, purify you, let Yahshua guide you in a straight, narrow path, He will show you the way. As I said, I've been young, and now I'm old. Never have I seen Yah see forsaken or out being in bread. So I told Yah, I'm going to stop for now because there is more. There's more. And I will see you next Wednesday. This is not for the men. I don't instruct men. I only instruct the daughters of Zion. And I instruct them by the way that I live as an example unto the daughters. I follow Yahshua HaMashiach and this Torah. He is the living Torah truth. So we told you all for all things. We want to be faithful in everything that we do. We will see you next week, same time, same place at Teshua Community. Again, Bonus status, daughters of Zion. Shalom, shalom. Yahweh Baruch you, and we'll see you next Wednesday evening. Shalom, shalom.